Hello everyone, welcome to Feel Good Yoga, your 30-day yoga journey. Today is day 14 and I'm Tejasvi. In today's practice, we are going to nurture the body and the mind. So wear something comfortable and let's get started. So let's begin today's practice. Just sit comfortably and easily. We'll gently close our eyes. Allow your shoulders to drop down. Take a moment. Allow yourself to come into the present moment. Breathe in. And breathe out with a smile. One more breath in, hold the breath and as you breathe out just let go of any tension and stress that is there in the body. We'll join our palms together and a lot of gratitude for taking out this time knowing that you're the most beautiful person we will set an intention we'll take a sankalpa you can take your own sankalpa in the present continuous tense breathe in and breathe out and we'll chant Om Om Relax yourself Just bow down, let your chin come close to the neck Feel the stretch in the back of the neck Breathe in and breathe out and you may slowly open your eyes and release the palms. Now join the feet together into butterfly. You can take the support of your hands behind. Let the sit bones come forward, straighten your spine. And now slowly, keeping the spine straight, release the hands, catch the feet and we'll flap our thighs up and down with a big smile. So this simple Vata Konasana just helps to open up the groin region and the hips so you can sit comfortably in a meditative pose as well it strengthens the calf muscles, the thigh muscles, increases the flexibility of the knees and a lot of benefits. It is also very useful for women during their menstrual cycle to release the menstrual discomfort. Even for pregnant women it helps for a painless delivery. We'll just continue for some more time in this wonderful posture. Keep flapping the thighs up and down and relax, release. Now catch the foot with the thumb inside, open up the feet and let the knees go down. Breathe in and breathe out. Keep observing the thigh muscles, the hamstrings opening up and come back to the center. And now we will take our hands up and let the knees come close to each other and we'll get the hands down and the knees come back down into butterfly. Once again, as you inhale, take the hands up, knees come up close to the chest. As you exhale, knees go down towards the floor. Inhale, keep observing the strengthening in the thigh muscles and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Last time, make sure you're not arching the back, keeping the back straight and exhale. Relax. And now if your feet have moved a little away from the body, get it close. Breathe in, go back. Breathing out, bend the elbows, 
start bending forward from the waist reach in see if you can place the palms on the floor walk your hands forward as much as you can if you can place the elbows on the floor it's good otherwise also it's okay see go forward keep getting the abdomen the stomach closer to the feet look towards the floor just hold it there keep observing that stretch in the groin region opening in the hips observe the thighs and the hamstrings send some love and the breath to your thigh muscles breathe in and breathe out one more breath in and exhale we'll slowly walk the hands back and relax now straighten the right leg pulling the right toes in the left toes are close to the right thigh now breathe in go back breathing out palms on the floor we will walk our hands forward and come down as much as you can making sure the right toes are pulled in go down as much as you can keep breathing normally observe the stretch in the back of the right knee send your breath there if you feel the stretch do not resist any pain lovingly nurturing the hamstrings send your love send the breath and you will observe as you send your breath the tightness decreases breathe in and breathe out in and out now breathing in slowly come back and relax now get the right toes in straighten the left leg pull the left toes in now breathe in go back breathing out we will bend forward walking the hands forward get the stomach closer to the foot walk forward and come down making sure the left toes are pulled in just hold it there attention on your body keep observing what is happening in the body keep breathing normally breathe in and breathe out now as you breathe in come back to the center and relax now get your leg back come back into the butterfly place the left hand on the right knee the right hand goes up above the head bend towards the left side just hold it there feel that stretch on the right side of the body keep extending the right hand keep bending towards the left side keep breathing 3 if you wish to you may close your eyes keep observing the stretch and the compression a gentle twist also happening and one come to the center and relax now on to the other side place the right palm on the left knee left hand goes up above the head bend towards the right side keep bending observe the stretch on the left side compression on the right and the gentle twist happening keep breathing Breathe in and breathe out. Two more breaths. Last one. And come back to the center. Relax. Now place the feet on the floor. Slowly lift the hips up. You can keep the toes inside, heels out. If you can sit down in this way you can sit otherwise if it's very difficult then lift the heels up you can also support your heels 
malasana now please join the palms in front of the heart with the help of the biceps keep pushing the knees out keep breathing in this posture breathe in and breathe out now here also keep observing the thigh muscles in and out and now slowly place the palms on the floor place the knees on the floor and come back into the cat pose or the marjarasana as you breathe in arch the back look up breathing out round the spine chin to the chest in the cat pose making sure your knees are hip width apart palms are shoulder width apart breathe in arch the back look up breathe out round the spine chin to the chest breathe in breathe out one more breath in very good for increasing the flexibility in the spine good for your back and breathe out in and out making sure you're pressing the palms against the floor and come to the center relax now bring your right leg in between both the hands push the left knee back making sure your left toes and the knee are in one line now finding your balance slowly release the hands take the hands at shoulder level twist towards the left side and hold it there five keep pushing your hips down towards the floor four hold it there three two and one come back to the center and release the palms slowly curl your left toe in take the right leg back come into plank keeping the stomach engaged lift the knee caps up thigh muscles engaged hold it here for two breaths breathe in breathe out one more breath in and out now lift the hips up if possible place the feet on the floor heels on to the ground adhomakshvanasana keep pushing the hips up towards the ceiling rolling the shoulders outwards in and out breathe in and exhale now place the knees on the ground and bring the left leg forward push the right knee back and then slowly release the hands take the hands at shoulder level twist towards the right side stay here keep breathing five keep pushing the hips towards the ground four three two and one come back down and relax once again take your leg back come into plank and hold it here keeping the stomach engaged pulling the knee caps up for three breaths breathe in and breathe out one more breath in and exhale last time breathe in and breathe out now lower the hips down look up upward dog and lift the hips up if possible place the heels on the ground it's okay to bend the knees push the hips up towards the ceiling adho mukshvanasana breathe in and breathe out now lift the right leg up and bring the right knee in between both your hands stretch the left knee back come into the pigeon 
it's okay even if your hips are up wherever you are you're completely fine making sure your hips are squared push the left hip down left thigh towards the floor press the palms onto the floor bend back breathe in and breathe out in and out and now slowly start bending forward and straighten your hands come down just observe what is happening in the body in the legs in the thighs and the hamstrings breathe in and breathe out slowly come back take the leg back once again come into plank we will hold again for three breaths breathe in and breathe out in and out last time and then lower the knee down relax here in the cobra now lift the knees up lift the thighs up up for dog curl the toes in come into the downward dog breathe in and breathe out now lift the left leg up bring the left knee in between your hands push the right leg back place the right foot on the floor into the pigeon pressing the palms on the floor bend back push the right hip onto the floor right thigh onto the floor square both the hips breathe in and breathe out in and out now slowly lower down straighten the hands above the hip breathe in and breathe out relax and slowly come up take the leg back we'll take the flow again come into plank lower down see if you can come into chaturang and slowly come down bhujangasana and downward dog breathe in and breathe out relax place the knees down and slowly sit down on your heels now take your legs on to the right side your left leg comes forward right foot is towards the right side if possible let your right knee be in line with the right hip and the right toes are in 90 degree angle left leg is forward in a 90 degree angle again now place the right hand on the left knee left hand goes back lift the spine up twist and look back over the left shoulder bharatwaja twist if you wish to you can place a blanket or a pillow below your right hip keep breathing just observe that twist 3 2 and 1 come back to the center we will change right leg comes forward left leg goes back both are in a 90 degree angle left hand on the right knee right hand goes back twist and look back breathe in and breathe out one more breath in and exhale and come back to the center we'll do the artha mudrasana place the left foot beside the right hip right foot on top take the right hand back left hand from in between the chest and the knee see if you can catch the right ankle twist and look over the right shoulder making sure your hand is close to the body and you're not bending back keep breathing 
and inhaling come to the center relax the hands now we'll do it onto the other side right foot beside the left hip left foot on top left hand goes back right hand in between the chest and the knee catch the left ankle look back over the left shoulder breathe in and breathe out one more breath in and exhale slowly come to the center and relax lie down on your back now lift the right leg up if this is very difficult you may choose to bend the left leg from the knee and hold it here keep breathing pulling the toes in stay here five keeping the stomach engaged keeping the neck relaxed four shoulders away from the ears three two and one release the right leg relax breathe in and breathe out now lift the left leg up you may choose the variation of bending the right leg if you wish to pull the left toes in towards yourself relax the neck and the shoulders relax your face observe that strengthening in the stomach region breathe in and breathe out few more breaths in and out just hold it there keep holding and relax release take a normal breath in and breathe out now lift both the legs up if you wish to you can place your palms under the hips give them a little support otherwise you can directly lift it up now here we will just rotate the feet clockwise to keeping the neck and the shoulders relaxed continue opposite direction very good continue doing and relax release the legs hug the knees in close to the chest lift your head up just hold it there breathe in and breathe out one more breath in and exhale relax release the head down relax the legs take the hands above the head now stretch your hands and legs in opposite directions stretch 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 and relax once again stretch 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 and relax release the hands rest in shavasana breathe in and breathe out bring your legs together join the heels and the toes together and place the palms by the side of the thighs keep the face relaxed with a smile you may gently keep the eyes closed start tightening from the toes tighten the ankle joints and the calf muscles pull up the knee caps tighten the thigh muscles compress and squeeze the buttocks breathe out and suck the abdomen in make a fist and tighten the arms inhale and expand the chest tighten the shoulders neck muscles and compress the face tighten the whole body from the toes to the head tighten 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 release and let go relax the whole body arms and legs go apart with the open arms facing the roof relax the whole body completely 
just observe that instant relaxation that you are getting. Take a joyful breath in and breathe out. We will make the humming bee sound, the mm sound. Breathe in. Mm. Relax completely. With every exhalation, relax more and more and more. I'll chant a mantra. Simply listen and relax. Om Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bhunaktu Sahaviryam Karavavahe Tejasvinavati Tamastu Mavitvishavahe Om Shanti 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 If you wish to, you can keep lying down, otherwise slowly become aware of the body and surroundings. Gently move the fingers of your feet and hands. Roll on to the right side and with the support of both your hands, you may sit up. Thank you so much for joining us. May you stay fit and calm. See you tomorrow.